ってことでフィーローメルティとレベル上げをしてこいちょーい行ってくるね待ってリオちゃん私行くって一応パーツof shield hero and yo my friends i am i can't get over how much this episode sucked like mexico sucked donkey balls kind of stuff like this was an awful episode i don't think i've been shy to really kind of tell you guys like i hate the other heroes like itsuki all of them like i just I just don't like them as characters. One of the things I typically tout on the channel almost all the time is if an anime's writing can invoke an emotion in you, it's doing the right thing. And for me, it's annoyance. And I don't like these characters so much that like this. And I, I personally don't think that this arc so far is very good at all either. So it's, it's one part... It's invoking the emotion in me. Okay, good. But the way that it's the way that it's doing it is with like bad writing, and this is just not very good. The first part of annoyance is I love Risha. I don't think I've ever been shy if you were around during uh the last season or when we when Risha was kind of like introduced, I was like, Oh, I love her as a character. She's cute. I love the way she speaks. I love her as a character. My, but I do, she does have a, a big flaw, and I do have a genuine problem with her. And that genuine problem is, I guess, something that's relative to the real world where, you know, you treat somebody like shit. Typically, it's 90% of the situations. I would say 10%, there's an outlier, but 90% is man treats, shit, treats woman like shit. She likes him more because of it. That's this situation here in anime form. It's Itsuki has traditionally. Treated Risha like shit. And because it's one part love, one part she feels like she owes him something for taking her into the party initially. He told her, you're trash, you're awful, you're a waste of space, you're a waste of skin. He, he told her all these nasty shit. And she's like, I love him. And I'm just like, I hate that. And even this, like, she's been working so hard. Like, she has somebody in, and I'm not saying that you go join a harem or anything, but you have something in now for me who's depicting one part crazy, you know, which makes him attractive, and the other part is sensible and, like, strong-willed and, you know, like that. He he represents, like, who you should like. And I'm not saying Risha needs to fall in love with, with now for me or the shield hero. I'm just saying he's, like, the dichotomy the, the, the perfect picture of, you know, like, the man you should be going after, not this piece of crap who, you know, did all these things to you. But yet, that's who she chooses to love, which, hey, you know, you can't, your heart wants what a heart, heart wants, I guess. But, like, her whole reason for being and getting stronger and training everything is him, and it's just so, you know, it's awful. Then they introduce Itsuki himself, and he's like, I'm the hero of justice. He's basically getting played and manipulated by his party and that's the other part that i have a problem with is just like how like these guys are from the real world you know they have a lot of familiarity with fantasy stories and video games and manga and entertainment and media and they're in this fantasy world now but he's allowing himself to just be and, and just get manipulated by these dudes. It's like, what the freak are you thinking, dude? And then she's, like, brainwashing, dude, by, like, gassing him up, gaslighting him constantly. It's like, yo, did you... Can you use your brain for, like, 10 seconds, Iski, and not see all the series of events and how bitch was led to almost be on the guillotine and how Naofumi saved her, even though he shouldn't have, and all the horrendous things that, he, that she did, and... Him, he's allowing himself to be manipulated again, knowing that he's probably be manipulated. And he's also being manipulated by his party as well, too. It's like, like, how much of an idiot? Like, is your IQ level one? Like, what is going on here? So just, it's just frustrating. It's not that entertaining. I really don't care about this dude. Like, if he just doesn't exist in the anime, it's not, like, worse for it. The fact that he exists and this storyline actually makes the story worse for it. 
This episode was the worst one I've seen all season long. Not only do I care about the motivations, the character behind it, uh, you know, the manipulation, like all these things, like I don't care. Like he, he's like, I gotta save the slaves. It's like, how are you being manipulated to this level? You're not gonna debauch slavery in this world where it's so instilled. Like you're one dude. It it will take like. It would take an army of your thinking, and his thinking's awful, by the way, but it would take an army of really intelligent people to, you know, make slavery no longer a thing, you know? And the way, the reason I can say that with my chest is in the real world today, in the world he came from, slavery still exists. Of course, it's not advertised, it's not, like, put out there, but who do you think digs up, like, the shit for your iPhones and stuff? Like, slavery still exists today, so... Good luck, homie. <laughs> like, it's what I'm trying to say. It's so stupid. Like, so anyways, I thought this episode fucking sucked. Like, I didn't like it at all. It was awful. It wasn't entertaining at all. I rolled my eyes constantly. I just didn't enjoy it, and I can't wait to just be done with this. Next next episode is justice versus justice. And then the, the other thing that freaking sucks as well is on top of all of that, my friends, like, dude, we have two more episodes left. So we have this bullshit-ass episode, and then we have one more episode left, and it's like, okay, well, we might get... Um, how do you say it? We might get like a second, like a second, uh, core, which is not going to happen, but it could happen. Or we're just going to get, you know, a season four, you know, eventually once again, because that's what happened with season one. We went into season two, season two, now went into season three. We're probably just going to get a season four. And here's the problem with that too, is like, okay, so this one, we got fall 2023. So this one started um October or whatever it was, right? So this one started October of 2023, okay? Season two started uh April of 2022. So we waited one year, 1.5 years. So we waited one and a half years for season two. And then if we look at season one, uh season one ended, and it'll pull up eventually here. Season one was 25 episodes, so it was the longest you know what we it's the longest thing that we got but that ended june of 2019 so we waited 1.5 years no 2.5 years we waited 2.5 years to get season two and then we had to wait another 1.5 years to get season three so assuming that you know just by you know the way it's unless it's been announced already let me know in the comments assuming it, it, it follows the same uh path we're now going to have to wait another 1.5 years for season four. So there's a chance that we won't see season four until like April, May of 2025. And this season is ending on a fucking like, oh my God. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next week for the last couple episodes. Peace out, my friends. It's so disappointing this episode was. Such potential too. Blind girl, like she was like, and now we're swapping back to Iski. Anyways, peace out.